hello. Just in time to hear the Minecraft music starting. <laughs> what was with me saying the word music? It's like I just had a stroke or something. Just in time to see the Minecraft starting. Weird. Anyway, <laughs> with that said, here we have... I don't know how much you can see because it's... Of course, like I say with other videos, rendering in. Now, I worked hard on this walkway. Only to find something pretty maddening. <laughs> it looks like... I think I think this is Silent Miss doing this. I'm not 100% sure. But okay, now that I've rendered this all in, from all the way over there to here... Uh, this is the way that he's been doing the roads up now. Like, I think he's redoing them. Not 100% sure. And, uh, I kind of made the roads a different way. So, I have to maybe rethink things. Like, I was matching it up with this. As opposed to with this. And they're completely different styles. You know, cobblestone with the smooth stone slabs, as opposed to stone brick stairs and stone brick slabs on ice. So, quite a bit different. So, this, I'll show you, is how I linked mine up. It's just like this. And then, I put ice, I was I, very clever, I put ice all the way over there. So that I too can do the quick jumping like this. And you do move quite a bit faster from one end to the other when you have ice all the way across. It is quite remarkable how much faster it is. Like when it's a big distance like this, it sure adds up. Um, one thing that I was thinking about today, and this is pretty drastic is I was thinking of making this entryway much bigger. Much, much bigger. So, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And the first part about it is to actually cut down these crafting tables because they are kind of in the way of the design. But that's okay, I can put them back. And maybe take these out, these out, and this. This is going to have to change a little bit. But I'll get to that in a second. Poet sign, you're gone. Poet plays, that's me. Look at that. Advertising myself in my own video. Useless. Okay, so let's go from here. Yeah. And I want to go up maybe to there. Okay. So I went out by one to about there. And then like that. And like that. So let's see how this looks. Block sliding around on the ice. Okay. So it's a much larger entryway. And I like that. I, I like that a lot. And actually what I'm going to do... Um, just to make sure that this looks correct... Is go like this... Break that, break that. Okay, this goes in and that. Okay, I'm doing this I'm doing this correctly, I think. I've done this enough times that I should be doing it correctly. <laughs> Here we go. So we go like that and like that. And whoops! Oh, I knew I'd screw something up. Let's move on over. Oh, but that's our only step. That moving block is our only step. Okay, let's go up maybe from here. Let's pillar. And place it. Whoa, I almost... I'm not holding shift. Look at me. I'm on the edge and I'm not holding shift. I'm like a rebel. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Shovel time. Oh, it's so beautiful. I just got back from... My Better Than Wolves series. I just, just, just recorded that. Um, and 
in that series, I have nothing. I have no enchanted items. And it's just beautiful having items like this. Oh, oh, just beautiful. Okay, so there. I shortened the ribbons a little bit just to make way for this, this door. And now uh, what I think I'm going to do is, like, break the corners off, maybe? I just want to see if that would look good. And then the same for over here. Come on, reach it. Yes. Would that look okay? Meh. I don't know about that. I don't... Hmm. Actually, I think I preferred it the other way. When it was like, uh, like this. Because then I can actually put maybe the fence across, make it look, well, even then. I'll think of something. I'll do something. Maybe if I do like, like this. Yeah, there we go. And jump. Yep. No, that looks dumb that's so dumb okay so let's break that and break whoops <sighs> this is why I never show myself building anything what is going on with that block there <sighs> anyway uh, oh we're on the we're on the old texture pack I guess I forgot to switch it because I've been switching mods so frequently um, I really haven't <laughs> I haven't been managing the the better texture pack very well but here we go. What I'm going to do today is make a daylight sensor. Now, this is something that you can do in the new snapshot. And you use the nether quartz to make it. So I need three of those and some half slabs. Half slabs. Eh. I don't want to use my spruce. We'll use these. Turn them into half slabs. There we go. Okay, so the way we make it is glass on the top, because I guess that's how it looks. Some nether quartz inside, and some half slabs on the bottom. It gives us a daylight sensor. So, basically that's it. We can make a couple of these to make things easy, but what I think I will do is actually... How am I going to do this? I gotta really think about this. I wanna situate one up here. We'll swim up. And I'll show you what I'm thinking. How come I'm going so slow? Speed up, or I'll drown. There we go. Why was I going so slow back there? Weird. Um but here we go. I wanted to put some redstone lamps in the floor here. All the way around. So the redstone current itself would be underneath here and as for the daylight sensors they could be I'm just gonna break a hole and jump down I mean as long as they get light to them but I don't want it to look ugly either this is the hardest part about it is basically to find a place that this can go without making it look ugly um, let's see, because I want it to, I want it to collect, this is a hard decision, I didn't think it would be this hard, to, hard of a decision, so let's see, this is the middle, ugh, I mean, ideally I'd put it up on the roof, but how would I get the redstone from there, and what, ah. Oh. Guys are having a party on my my little farm that I'm making. Uh, okay, well I'll I'll just have to place it, I guess. Um, oh, I got an idea, cause I bet. Oh, they're as big as a half slab, huh? Maybe even smaller. How do I break? Oh no, don't fall. Okay, good, good, good. I wonder. I wonder if it would transmit the redstone through a block. That is what I want to know. But I could place one like that, basically. And if the redstone current goes up to there, I bet it would work. So the way that I could do that is um, with a half slab. 
or something. No, no, I don't need a half slab. All I would do is just cover it like that. And then keep that like that, which I hope I just about flew off the side. And with that creeper there, I don't want to go even near it. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see whether this works. Let's jump down. Don't worry, I got my boots. My rubber booties. Let's grab some of this. Just to see if it works. Should we make some redstone lamps? Eh, we can do that later. Anyway, um, let's see. In the last episode, which I think I only just posted on Saturday, episode 22, I believe it was, and I'm, I'm pretty sure about the episode number this time um, because of how recently it was, but uh, I had talked about this situation I was in where, well, <laughs> just watch the episode. And basically, I, I would like to say that the situation has been resolved. So, resolved. I won't get into the details too much, but really there, there was so little drama that you guys would almost probably be disappointed with it. I mean, I was, I was terrified. Just absolutely terrified. Uh, didn't know what to do, but, uh, thanks to the advice that you guys gave, basically saying, you know what, speak the truth, tell the truth, um, because it would, it would hurt a lot less in the long run and that kind of stuff. I mean, no, no truer words have ever been spoken. It's, it's, you guys helped me out quite a bit, uh, helped me gain the courage I needed. I don't know why I was running away, but here we are working. You helped me gain... Can I speak now? You helped me gain the courage I needed to, to say what I needed to say. And uh, I, I'll tell you what, I appreciate it more than you would ever know. Um, I mean, it might have sounded like the obvious answer to everyone, but I just needed to hear someone else say it. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. That's all I can say. There was There was no drama really. So, with that said, um, let's see, what else can we talk about? I really want to get this working. I'm, I'm upset that it isn't. I mean, no, no redstone signal. Is it because it's dark? Uh, is it because the redstone has to be on the same level as it? Ugh. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's grab it up. Let's see how I can grab it here. Wow, they break easily. I'm going to go down here and place it down here. Uh, where did it go? Oh, right here. Okay, so place it down. And redstone, hey, it works down here. So then, yeah, the redstone just has to be on the same level as it, which is kind of a drag, but eh. What can we do, I guess? So the way it works, if you haven't seen these in Minecraft yet, and maybe you haven't if you're not playing the the uh, snapshot, is that for the different weather conditions, basically rain or sunshine, and for uh, day and night, it uh, emits a redstone signal. So the brighter it is, I guess, the more... Wait, how does that work? Let me see. Bright means light, <laughs> right? I, 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 I don't know. How much of a signal do we get? Okay, so we get up to there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's daytime but raining, and that gives you an, a signal of 11. Is that how that works? And then when it's night time, ah, uh, I wish we could just make it night so that we can test this out. I'm not 100% sure on what, what the phases are, whether this lit up means daytime. I think it does, because I'm pretty sure I saw people putting a not, a, a not gate, i.e. 
a redstone torch. <laughs> I don't know why people call them not gates, but yeah, uh, basically people were inverting the signal, and uh, that was basically giving them this, the the uh, the redstone required for lighting places up. So I'm guessing that if it has a signal, it means that it is daytime. So 11 blocks away, I'd have to keep it to detect rain as well. Is that how that works? I don't know. I'm not a... I mean, I, I, I like redstone and all, and uh, I play with it quite a bit, but I have no idea how those work. I'm I'm very innocent to how they work, so... Oh well. But yeah, you could see just for a second what I'd been working on is my little farm, which I am going to get working. It's the most basic farm idea ever, except I'm going to kind of kick it up a notch. I'm going to have hoppers all along the, the end here when I make the new hoppers, and they will transport the materials basically into chests, I guess. Yeah, so that'll be nice. And I'm going to do a second floor and a third floor and a fourth floor even. And basically what'll happen is I'll come in here after seeding it all and it, it'll it grow. It'll be beautiful. And I'll come in here and I'll flip a switch and it'll flood everything and I'll get just waves and waves and waves of items coming down. That's my dream. So, yeah. Apart from that, uh, and apart from working on the walkway here, which I'll probably need to tear up now, because it's the wrong style, uh, there isn't a lot done, really. Uh, I've been wanting to record quite a bit. I know that Silent Mist and uh, Chicken96, as I call them, they, uh, well, we together will be doing some kind of a collaborative video very soon uh, because of the time zone that uh, Liam, that's the Chicken96 guy, uh, because of the time zone he's in, we will have to do it when it's like uh, on a weekend, which is okay. So we'll do it probably on the weekend, and I don't know what the details will be. I don't want to spoil anything yet. So... Just know that we are going to be working on a recording. And, oh, I worked on this. Yeah, look at this. I started, uh, I finished, sort of finished, the walkway around. It has to come out yet by one or two. And, uh, and then I have to connect these pieces. Oh, I ran out of birch, you can see. Well, this is coming along nicely too, though. So this will be done. Uh, when the roof is done, this little walkway will attach to it, basically. And, yeah, this is really starting to come along, I think. I, I, I'm i really liking how these circular structures are looking. It's something that I've really never had anything any experience working with. Like, I always did squares and stuff, but doing these kinds of builds with the big circular towers I really like and I was even kind of getting stars in my eyes thinking that uh, you know what maybe just maybe I'll put up a wall a giant giant wall encasing this sort of a city so to speak and I could build little city buildings and shops of my own and all that kind of stuff um, but I don't want to get too too carried away so what I was thinking actually and I need some sandstone to, to actually do justice to it, but was ripping up this walkway all completely gone and putting in some very, very wide steps. The steps themselves would be like five across. Five across here, five across here, maybe some hedges in the middle, all coming up to this giant entryway. So that's why I made it a lot bigger, and I like that idea. So, even though I just basically finished all of this, I got my silk touch up because I don't want to break the ice. And it is actually one of the only picks that I have, and it's efficiency 5, so this should go very quickly. Uh, I'm going to rip this all up. We'll do that. 
Um, glad you guys liked my uh, my story about the border patrol and uh, and that. <laughs> I'm glad I lightened your day with that one. Uh, let's see. I was actually going to be talking about more things like that, um, but it you know it, it's it's that kind of series. If you guys know the the mind crack guys, how they generally just build while talking about their lives and, and daily happenings. That's how I want it to be. You know, that's where I get my most comfortable, I could say. So, yeah, I mean, having you guys commenting and, and actually supporting me and that kind of stuff, it, it means so much to me uh, that I can foresee this series or, or at least one very similar to it going on for a very long time. Um, and, and I'm kind of happy about that because, uh, out of all the mine, Minecraft videos that I do, this series, I think, is my favorite right now, uh, just because of the comments I get and because of the, the way that I can just, you know what, be myself, talk about what I want to do, build what I want to build. If I want to go redstone crazy, I can do it. If I want to just focus on building a little tower, I can do it. Um, if I want to just sit here, taking this pathway that I spent probably a good hour building, uh, uh, if I want to remove it, I can do that too, without people shouting comments like, post more Pokemon, or where's a T-Rex, as much as I love those series. I love having the ability to just relax and do what I like, so... I'm glad you guys like it too, or at least some of you do, and I hope you guys stick around um, because I'm going to be talking about a lot more stuff like that. Um, I, I kind of made that decision yesterday. You know, little little stories that I can come up with, um, and you see, that's, that's really the hard part about it, but even just now I'm making up stories as I go. Um, what a lot of people do when they make videos like this is they'll actually come prepared with a story. Like, uh, before they hit the record button, they'll they'll actually write down a number of different points that they're going to make. Um, now, I've never been like that, and this is the story, I guess, that I'll tell. Is, uh, oh, look at that, I'm going to starve. Hold on, hold on, hold that thought. Okay. Uh, the story I'm going to tell is basically... I do a lot of public speaking. I know that someone in one of the videos uh, said, why don't you be a motivational speaker? Well, I'm not a motivational speaker, but I, I definitely enjoy talking in front of a crowd. It's a very weird... I mean, most people hate, just cannot stand talking in front of a crowd. Um, one of my co-workers... Uh, this will start the story, I suppose. Am I running out of space? I am. Oh, no. Uh, let's get rid of the string. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of what? That's basically it. Maybe some... I don't need all those ender pearls. I never use them. There we go. Look at all this we have to pick up. Um, I went to this conference uh, a couple years ago, actually. And it was a conference basically for my my company, my parent company. So our office is like an individual office, and then we have like a headquarters, of course. Um, and we went down to headquarters for this giant rah-rah, exciting presentation type of thing. It was basically, uh, the headquarters is located in a very, very tropically beautiful place. And, uh, <laughs> we just basically spent four or five days uh, soaking up the sun and not so much paying attention to what was being said at the conference. But one of the things that happened... Wow, whoops! Uh, one of the things that happened uh, was that we had to kind of introduce ourselves when uh, when we got there, right? I have to jump down and get that ice block... It's precious to me. I took a lot of time getting it. Whoops! I had sealed this in. Uh-oh. I can get out, though. Okay, so let me let me continue. 
um, we had to introduce ourselves and what they did is they had all of us in a room and there were about a hundred of us in the room and we we passed around a single microphone to every single table and at each table we said my name is so and so from this office from this city um, and then basically pass the mic. <laughs> so it it had been about I don't know about 40 to 50 people had already said my name is Cheryl from Windsor Ontario from this office and I do this job at the office. Okay? Next, pass the mic and it gets to me and I decided I'm going to have a little bit of fun with these people <laughs> and show them something that they haven't seen before. So I grabbed the mic and literally grabbed it because I was excited to grab that mic. Grabbed the mic and basically said, my name is so-and-so, I'm from this office, and now that I have the mic, I'm going to hang on to it. And so I walked around and started like talking to people asking them about their day, asking them what they were doing, and <laughs> at one point I said, you know, you hand me a microphone, you better expect that I'm going to keep it. And they, of course, said, well, we we have the ability to turn off your microphone. Of course, they never did. I think they really appreciated the fact that I was going to be outgoing like that. But I have this comfort to to basically sum up that story. I have this comfort talking in front of big audiences. And I, I don't know where I've gained that comfort because I was a shy kid. I was always, always, always the shy kid in class. Like, to read a book in front of people, I would choke up, I would be shy, I, I wouldn't be able to say any of the words, I was stumble, you know? <laughs> Not so much a stutter, I guess, but it, it would be a very basic word, like sandwich and I would screw that up I would say you know sandwich uh, and then I'd I'd mess up some more and you know fumbling on my words oh, I, I fumble on my words all the time maybe that's why I was sort of embarrassed I don't care if I fumble my words now you guys must be used to it I just what how come I can't pick these up what oh no 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 crap Crap, crap, crap. Where did he come? Oh, it's so dark down there. That's where he came from. Oh. Oh. Look at look at this. He blew up some of my ice. My precious ice. <sighs> what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, you guys are used to me stumbling on my words now. I, I realize that I have some kind of a... I guess it's a stutter. It's not something that you really notice a lot because I don't do it all the time, but it's it's frequent enough. Like what I just did there, how I said it's it's. <laughs> I've only started really noticing it now that I've started making videos, and to me, I mean, it doesn't bother me. Um, I've I think only one person made fun of it in one episode at one point in time. Um, and basically, I had said something and... Oh, maybe it was someone that I was... Yeah, it was someone that I was in a Skype chat with. And they happened to say something to that effect. Like, oh, crap! No, not like, oh, crap. But like, uh, they made fun of the fact that I stuttered a word or something like that. And to me, it's not, like, so bad that it happens all the time. Uh, it's just that when I'm thinking... I, maybe it's a habit, but when I'm thinking of words to say... I gotta just get rid of these slabs, I guess. Don't know why I'm really down here. Just lighting it up so that creepers don't kill everything again. Um, hold on, gotta itch my neck making noise on the microphone. Okay. So it's it's really, I think, a habit of when I don't know exactly where my thoughts are going, what I'm going to say next exactly, I have this habit of repeating 
the word that I just said simply to fill time and fill space while I gather my thoughts. Something to that effect. Maybe. Possibly. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's maybe why I was shy as a kid. Maybe subconsciously I realized that I was doing that um, and I thought that it was because I was in front of a crowd and so I didn't enjoy doing it very often. Um, but I think I've gotten over that. I mean, what have I got to hide? I am who I am. I'll talk how I talk. Um, and if you don't like it, I mean, you can stuff it. <laughs> That's how I'll say it. Uh, I mean, basically, I can't change who I am, and I'm not going to change who I am. So, I mean, that that is what it is. I guess that's a good way of looking at it. Always being positive. I'm such a positive guy, aren't I? <laughs> but where was that story going? Okay, so I was telling you the story of what, how shy I was and why I was shy. Well, I think I got over that. Um, I don't know why. It just happened one day. Like, I decided, you know what? I'm, I'm done being shy. I don't care if people don't like how I sound. I don't care if people don't like the way that I speak. And that was actually kind of what influenced me to start doing YouTube videos as well. Like, I would never in a million years have done YouTube videos uh, the way that I was. The shy guy that I was. There would just be no way. Um, but the way that I am now, I, I really don't mind. And you see, I just stuttered a little bit again. Um, I only notice it when it's like really conscious. Otherwise, I don't really notice myself doing it. Of course, now that I've mentioned all of this, everybody's going to notice every two seconds. You did it again. You did it again. You did it again. Sigh. But really, I don't care. If, if people make fun of it, or, you know what, I can laugh at it too. Um, because I know that I do it consciously, and I don't have a problem with it. So, you know what, it is a funny thing. It's just how I talk. I think it's a habit because I've always done it. Just to fill space while I try to gather my scrambly thoughts. And uh, so I, I'm not shy about it any, anymore. So I love public speaking. <laughs> Which I think is basically the point of the uh, the whole story and uh, I, I said I wasn't a motivational speaker but we actually have quite a few um, like annual meetings general meetings where as a company we come together not so much with headquarters but just as as our office everybody comes together and I always always have the ability to get up on stage and I love it. I love making people laugh on stage. I'm, I, I love making people make fun of me stutter like I just did again. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I just like being a happy guy in front of people and making people like learn something because, you know, with what I do in my job, um, there is this huge learning curve that people have. And so I take advantage of those meetings to Basically stand up on stage, do the uh, kind of the Steve Jobs presenting the iPad for the first time type of thing. I do the same thing. Um, so I enjoy doing that and I don't really get the entire point of the story. Just that I wanted to say I like public speaking. And that was basically the history of me being shy, why I probably was shy and that I've gotten over it now. You guys get to enjoy me making these YouTube videos in a shy, free environment. And uh, I, I would hope that some of my shylessness... <laughs> is, that a, is that a word? No. My carefree... Wait. What's the right word? Anti-shy. Not shy-ish. Whatever the word is, I hope some of it rubs off. Because... It would be nice. I, I don't know why people are so shy. You see, stuttering like that, it's just me gathering my thoughts. That's nothing to be shy about. Do you have a lisp? It's nothing to be shy about. I mean, it's just the way that you talk. And this kind of goes on with what I was talking about last time with the bullying type of thing. Like, who cares if someone doesn't like the way you sound? 
But uh, it's funny. I'll be public talking, and, and oh, yeah, that was the one part about that story where we were at headquarters. I grabbed the mic and did all of that. When I finally passed the microphone to the person that came with me from my office, I was actually surprised at how shy they actually were to stand up in front of a crowd and say even just a simple line like, this is my name, this is my job, you know, and this is where I'm from. I was surprised at how, like, this person who I knew was not shy was being terribly shy in front of an audience. It is a very weird phobia to have, um, and I am thankful that I got over it, is the point of this entire, entire talk. I am so thankful that I got over it so that I could talk to people like you to to hear the, your comments and, and uh, I mean, they make me laugh, they make me mad, they make me sad, they make me... Some of them bring me practically, while well, they choke me up, to say the least, they make me blush. I, your comments, I spend most of my free time reading and replying to comments on Twitter, on YouTube, and to me that's the most rewarding thing ever, and I am so glad that I got over it. And, uh, I mean, hey, if you are having problems public speaking, if you're thinking of doing YouTube videos but aren't sure how to just get over that shyness, just just take my advice. I mean, what have you got to lose? Really? If people don't like how you sound, I mean, they just won't like how you sound. But you can't, you can't just give up. Because for as much as I would think... Oh, nobody's going to like how I sound. I I am constantly surprised at how many comments I get every day saying, my child loves your show, thank you for making it, or, you know what, poet, I love you, your videos are so amazing, thank you so much. I mean, it's just the rewarding feeling that that gives me is above and beyond anything I ever expected from making little Minecraft videos, right? So, thank you, everybody. I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode today. We'll see you next time while I hopefully render in already. Come on, show the people the thing. My house is cut in half. Oh, oh, it's rendering. <laughs> I will hopefully get the uh, redstone thing figured out. Maybe. Probably not. But this walkway I'm going to be working on, i got to go gather up some sand somewhere. There's a desert in that direction. Gather up some sand and maybe make some marble-style stairs all the way up. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>